We are back guys. We finally got back our Instagram account after 43 days of being disabled. Thank you to everyone that's been supporting us for these last 43 days. We are thrilled, we're pumped, and we can't wait to create more content for you guys on there. We have successfully retested and confirmed this Fibonacci level that we broke back above last week here. However, after this successful bounce that we had here on the bottom of this falling wedge, next what we're watching is going to be the potential here to either break out or break down. And when I say break down, I don't mean break down from the pattern, but break back down to the bottom of this falling wedge, which would be anywhere around 34 to probably $32,000. So the question is, can we see one of those scenarios happen this week? Let's go ahead and take a look at that in today's video. Plus, we will go over some trade setups that we will be watching this week. Let's dive right in. Hey, what's up? Jay here and welcome to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials and ideas to help you guys become profitable and successful investors. The goal of this channel is to empower you guys, the community with the knowledge and resources to help you get your wealth up to that next level. So if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, turn on notifications and of course, like this video. If you have any questions about anything that we covered today, drop it in the comments. Let's jump right into today's video. So we're a little late on the video today, so we're going to keep it as short and sweet as possible and try to get through everything really quick for you guys. So it has been a lovely time in the market for the past eight days or so, right? Except for maybe one day here, everything else has been pretty much green. Bitcoin's price has been very correlated with the stock market this whole month, really. So now that the stock market is green, crypto has also been in the green for the last week or so. So that definitely had a lot to do with the markets just being completely oversold. Remember for the last two weeks or so, we've been telling you guys that on the daily chart, whenever the market is oversold, almost always there's some sort of rally back to the upside. And that's exactly what we have seen here so far. And if you look back in history, it remains true. Every time that we've been oversold, eventually there's a rally that leads us back to the upside. Even if it's some sort of dead cat bounce or just a relief rally, we move back up before it continues down. Now, something else that has been interesting here on the RSI is actually this right here. If you take a look at the RSI, you'll see that we have this low and then lower low. However, if we take a look at the price action, this is on the weekly time frame, you will see that we have a low and a higher low. So what exactly does that mean? That's called hidden bullish divergence. So what exactly is a hidden bullish divergence? Well, if you look at this chart right here, you can see that when the price is going up, when it's setting higher highs, while the RSI is setting up lower lows, that is indeed a hidden bullish divergence. You can see here, what is hidden divergence? Hidden divergence is created when the price of a cryptocurrency carves a higher low while the indicator creates a lower low. Taking a look at this Ethereum chart right here, you can see that last time that we had the same type of hidden bullish divergence, you can see the price was setting up a higher low, RSI is setting up lower lows. Well, I mean, the rest is pretty much history, right? We just took off past $4,000 at that point. We could also see it on this Bitcoin chart when we had this hidden bullish divergence, price going higher, RSI going lower, then we had a move to the upside. Again, price setting a higher high, RSI setting lower lows, we had a bullish move to the upside. But then at the top here, you will see that we had a higher high and a lower high here on the RSI. So what was that? That was a bearish divergence. And that of course sent the price falling down. 
So now looking back at the chart here, we not only have the hidden bullish divergence, but we're also about to break out of this falling wedge pattern. So that's two different reversal signals that are pointing for the market to head back to the upside. Now, of course, it's not all butterflies and rainbows as we do have a lot of resistance that we will face here. Remember, we're still having to face that long term. What was support before that will now be a resistance. And we will have, of course, this level up here, which is a Fibonacci level. And even after we break above all of this, we still have a lot of ground to make up, guys. So this doesn't mean that we're out of the woods. Even if we do break out of here, we have a lot of ground to make up still. It will not be easy, but it is definitely setting up to be possible. So trade setups that we will be watching this week. If you guys have enjoyed this video so far, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications and also, of course, smash the like button. Let's go ahead and jump into some trade setups. So we are still watching that $38,000 level. If you've been playing it every time that it's either broken up above 38, it's run up at least around $500. And when it's broken below it, it's also the same thing. It's run about 500 to $1,000. You can see today we actually hit a low of 36,600. So I've been playing this level to enter both long and short positions. Now at this moment in time, the higher probability is on the short side because we have this resistance that we're facing up here. But if we do get a breakout above this level, I'd probably be looking for it's going to be somewhere above 39,000. So you could either use 39,000 is that 40,000 is so close to it. I don't feel comfortable um, using 39 as an entry because we, it can easily get rejected back down to 38. So I think the level that I will be playing is $40,000 for a long entry. So if I see the price go above $40,000, I will execute an order there to enter a long entry. And at that point, my target would be $42,000, which is where this next resistance level is. Now, if instead we end up going towards the downside and revisiting this Fibonacci level right here, that's been, as you guys can see, playing a role as a support level for us right now. Then again, I'm using 38,000 as that signal to enter a short. And at that point, I'm looking to to hit this level down here, um, which is probably around thirty seven thousand dollars. That is it for us today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching to the end of the video. If you watch to the end, you already know what to do. Drop it in the comments that you watch till the end of this video helps us out a ton with the engagement, which, of course, helps with the YouTube algorithm to try to get it out to as many people as possible. Thank you again, guys. Make sure to subscribe, smash the like button. And if you have any questions about this video, drop it in the comments. I will see you guys on tomorrow's video. As always, peace and love. Yeah.